Hi everyone, I'm Eric. And I'm Christopher. And we're Grow For Me Gardening. Today we're trying out a new Proven Winners container recipe for our part sun, part shade hanging baskets. I can't believe it's finally time to plant our first annuals. And right here we have our favorite hanging baskets. These are the Haney Metal Orb Hanging Baskets. We probably purchased these about four years ago, Christopher. I think they were four years ago. And we purchased them in the color Rust, which was a natural finish. And when they arrived, I went ahead and kind of sanded them a little bit and then spray painted them black. And they did get a fresh coat this year. I think I have freshened them up maybe two or three times between the time we were purchased them and today. And I really like them. The bottom is, you know, it removes. It has a hole in the center. I did put landscape fabric there just to prevent stuff from coming down. I have it sitting in an empty pot and that's going to help keep it upright as we work through the arrangement today. So these are both 24 inches and I can't wait to share with you the plants that are going inside of them. A few months ago, Eric was scrolling through Instagram and he came across the double Dutch recipe from Proven Winners, immediately put it on our order. We knew that we had to have this recipe in these hanging baskets. It's really pretty. It's kind of floofy. It doesn't have a, too much of a, a, a thriller. It's true. I love a floof. Yeah, he loves a floof. So this is more um, spiller and filler without the thriller. But this there's like this nice architecture to the container, so it's going to be perfect. The container is designed for a 12 inch pot. These are 24 inches, so we will be doubling the double Dutch recipe. The first plant that goes in there are the Double Delight Primrose Begonia. It's a nice short mounding to kind of trailing begonia. That's gonna be great. It can go apparently in full sun, but this is gonna be part sun to shade. Right now we're just getting to the mid afternoon and you can see there's a little bit of sun here, but yeah. not too, too, too much. For those of you not familiar with our property, these are where we have our hanging baskets and this is the east side of the house. So it's lots of morning sun. Yeah, and the other good thing is last year, Eric installed little twisty things at the top so we can actually rotate these planters to get even sun throughout the week. Okay, so again, the Double Delight Primrose, it's a beautiful kind of creamy yellow color. It has little apricot underneath. That's my favorite part. Yeah, it's really nice. They are lightly fragranced. This one's a little almost citrusy maybe. I Ooh. think a little citrus, love that. The other addition to this is going to be the Double Delight Apple Blossom, which looks exactly like a lovely apple blossom. More of a, a pale cream and pink with a corally pink on the back side. I also like the leaf structure on these. They're just a little bit darker, a little almost like a rugged leaf. And we got to grow these last year and they did very well. For very, us. very well. We actually had them in the head planters, which was kind of cool. And then the official trailer for this recipe is the Summer Wave Large Blue Terrenia. Uh-oh, this one doesn't have any flowers on it. We actually only have one bloom at the moment. <laughs> um, it's a really pretty blue color. And the idea of this recipe is that the begonias go all around the outside, the terrenia goes on the inside, and as it kind of bursts forth, you get those little pops of blue throughout. I think that's gonna be great. And since there are eight segments to the orb, we'll alternate our begonias, and then the two terrenias will go right dead center. First things first, we have to fill these with soil. It is so heavy because it's been out in the rain. This is two cubic feet, wish me luck. You're gonna do it fine, it's gonna be <laughs> I hope it goes in the container. I've got this idea, I'm just gonna hold the edge of this <laughs> container in case it starts to fly. All right, it's gonna flop against my microphone. Let's see where we're at. I feel like I get so messy when I'm doing containers. That's okay, because we'll just bring the blower out, do the leaf blower, and clean off the terrace. I'm not normally a, a messy gardener, but I guess we all have our moments, right? I love it. I think it's great. When I'm a messy gardener? Yeah, it's fantastic. All right, so I like that, and I'm gonna put in the other one. So we can do them both at the same time. I like to get them both set up to do at the same time because because hang on i'm focusing <laughs> <laughs> sorry because i just really like to make sure if there's two of something and they're supposed to match that they do so now let's kind of like lay them out we know that the terrenia is the trailer 
So the two of them go dead center. I think I'm gonna cheat them though. Kind of like that. Tell for me now. What? For now, okay. Well, because I, I, cause I don't know how much they trail. I've never worked with these before. The little apricot blush moment on the back of these is... See if you can get a whiff. The smell is so nice. Like oh, light. it's a little rosy. Yeah, like a, it's a light, like it's like a citrus rose. It reminds me of Vanessa Bell was immediately the thought that came to mind. Well, I already love this. If yeah. only there was some of the blue showing. <laughs> <laughs> there will be. There will. Actually, wait, I think there's one. Here's our one blue flower right now. We have the one. So pretty. Now this won't work for full shade. If you're looking for a full shade container, this recipe wouldn't work because the Double Delight Primrose Begonia doesn't work in full shade and neither does Apple Blossom. Apple Blossom. And the Terenia could, but it won't thrive as much. So full shade, this isn't the answer, but part shade, part sun, this could work beautifully for you. Now, begonias can be a little bit messy, so just know that they're gonna drop a lot as the season goes on. I have found that the Proven Winners begonias are a little bit better about that, but they do still have some dropping of their faded flowers. That's why we're keeping this sofa a few inches away from the wall so the petals fall behind it. I think it looks really nice. I think this is gonna fill in so pretty. How do you feel about the Terenia, just two of them? Do you think we need a third? We do kind of have an emergency extra, and there's a part of me that I think it would just be nice to have the extra blue. So let me tell you why I think we might want to do the third. Because the original recipe calls for one for a 12 inch container, right? Mm -hmm. Which means it would only have to spread six, six inches, inches each way. But this is a 24 inch container. So it would have to spread over 12 inches to get to the edge. So I'm thinking if I kind of do a little trio. A triangle of them, I don't know, but I'm a big believer in following the recipe when I bake. But gardening is an, is an art, not a science. Yeah, this is an art. So let's, you know what, let's do it. We I'm do gonna cheat, I'm gonna get the other two. I don't think it's a bad idea to add the extra one just for that reason. Now there's a little bit less distance for them to travel mm -hmm. and maybe they'll kind of pool on top of each other and We'll see some more blue in the middle. So now all I'm going to do is, Christopher, if you come in here, I'll go on this side for you, is I'm just going to push this back. Leave a little soil on the edge. Yep, leave soil on the edge. Let's see how these are doing. All right, they're not bad. They're not root bound. Looking and then healthy. I'm gonna kinda look and see which way it's naturally trailing. And I'm just gonna... I love the fact that these containers, since they're rounded at the bottom, you just kind of lay them in there so they're already going in the direction we want, want them to. And for those of you wondering why my hands aren't getting dirty right now, we, uh, we talk a little bit about how we kind of have our different gardening jobs, right? And I handle a lot of the, uh, let's say, irrigation and a few of these other tasks. But when it comes to planting in containers, Eric's the boss. I will say this is our first time ever using a predetermined proven winner's recipe. Oh, you're right. Usually Normally we, we just kind of wing it. Yeah. Which is what we will be doing for our other containers. So this is the only recipe we kind of really planned for this year. And these begonias get so big. Remember how big these apple blossoms got last they, year? They're just really fluffy and great texture. It may look skimpy now, but. I bet you they reached up to about halfway or more. We've had thrillers in these containers before, and I don't know if they were as necessary. I think giving it the breathing room above it this year is really going to showcase the architecture of the orbs. And I'm not too worried about packing these in super tight, but I am keeping them close to the edge to ensure that there's breathing room in the center. And we don't have these hooked up on irrigation or drip or anything. These will get hand watered. And when we water them, we're gonna use a water soluble fertilizer. 
the one that we find the most successful for us because we have a little bit of hard water because we are in the Adirondacks and there's a lot of limestone running through the mountains here. It has been uh, proven winners, water soluble fertilizer. And the reason we have such success with that one is because it has some iron in it and it helps keep the leaves really green and bright. This is the last begonia. Do we see the vision? The vision is there. The vision is strong. Awesome. Just get these out of the way. Just realized at this angle, you can see some empty pots and some stuff ready to go. Oh, it's got to get ugly before it gets pretty, right? Yes, it does. And we're in the ugly phase right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'll cheat this one here. They're also going to get a little more room for their roots down here. Last year, we had surefire white begonia in these and epic, magnificent, epic, gorgeous. Um, so if you like a white begonia, surefire white in a hanging basket thrives. And then I'm just going to place these terrenia in a triangle in the center. There we go. What do you think? I think they look great. Here we have the completed hanging baskets on the ground, I guess, technically. For the last time, we are going to move the couch a little bit so we can get these hung up and then we'll give you a look. So of course, the final step is to water these lovely new plantings in. Definitely, now that it's sunny out, Make sure you run the hose until the hot, hot water that's been baking in the sun gets out of there so we don't boil the new plants. <laughs> but I'm using Eric's technique to lightly water the whole surface before I take the time to really individually water each root ball. I'm just gonna sit here on the bench in the hydrangea room and watch yep. you work. <laughs> It looks great. I cannot wait to see those bloom. Now we have a purple and yellow theme going on the terrace, um, but these don't have any purple. They do have that blue in them though. So I think that's close enough, right? It's close enough and they're separate. They're separated. Yeah. Look at how good this, uh, my goodness, the Winecraft Gold is looking. Oh, the Winecraft Gold is bonkers. I can't, I mean, how tall do you think that is? At this point, 15? we're about 12. Yeah. Twice my height. Yep. All right, these are pretty much watered in. So with that done, now we get to continue on some planting projects for the day. But we're really happy we got to show you our first official annual planting of the season, our part shade containers with the double Dutch recipe. Thank you so much for joining us today. I think they look fantastic. I agree. Again, I'm Eric. And I'm Christopher. And we're Grow For Me Gardening. Thanks for growing with us.